Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So happy 1st of March. Oh, this might be a little bit later than the 1st of March. Uh, when you actually see this, it might be a couple of days later. But yeah, there's my little gonk gnome March finished. All hung on my wall and ready. How organised was that? I actually got one done before. <laughs> Right, what I'm going to do today is have a look through my spring and Easter things and see what I've got. So, uh, yeah, I will be back in a second. So, I asked little Millie Moe if she wanted to come and join me in the craft room. And, uh, yeah, she, she's having a snooze. And uh, just to prove that wherever the dog is, there is a remote control. There it is, look. She always sleeps on our remote control. So, yep, yeah, she's brought herself up to bed after our walk. And there she is, look, nice and snoozy. You're not saying hello to the people today? I know your little eyebrows are going, you're going to say hello? No, not today then. But yeah, whenever we're looking for a remote control in this house, it's always under the dog. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So this is my Easter box. Um, I try to put everything away now in light. I've, got, I've always had Christmas boxes. But I now have a Halloween box and this is my Easter box. So let's see what we've got from last year. And then I'll have to have a look through this year's and see what I've got to do. So not too much in this one. Um, but I think after this Easter, with all the bunnies that I've got, that there will be quite a few. So they, this is uh, from the range. This was my uh, little gonk gnome happy Easter sign that I got. Um, I think it was last year I got this one and did it. Very, very pretty. So that one will be going up again this year. Oh, we've got some more. <laughs> Daily boppers. Uh, little headband chick. East chick. Yeah, I think I've got some photographs with Millie wearing that one. <laughs> uh, we've got another little mini canvas. Isn't she cute? Little ducky. And uh, yes, yeah, she was from the range as well. So that one was done last year. I just love the expression on that duck's face. Look at that. How cute is that with her little Easter hat on? And the uh, little fairy mushrooms at the bottom. Yay. Okay. And then, oh, I've got some little gonk gnomes. I can't remember where I got these from. I think it might have been one of the companies, to be honest. Because, um, you know, if you do have a look on the companies, they do tend to have uh, other things other than just uh, diamond painting. I know a lot of them do, like, cross-stitch and all things like that. But, yeah, so they're just a bit of fun. They'll probably go on one of my Easter trees this year. Uh, I do have my Easter tree, which must be... Well, it's over 25 years old because we got it um, in Rotterdam. Uh, in Holland before we actually got married so yeah that's uh, quite a tradition quite old it did go to our daughters for a while but then she got her own so now uh, this one will be going out once they're all up and uh, my decorations are up I will do you a little show and tell as it were <laughs> uh, oh this is a little acrylic sign I think this was year before last and it's like a little bunny just poking over the back of a sign. So I usually just write Happy Easter or something on there. But uh, yeah, these are all sealed as well, by the way. So the gems aren't going to uh, move. So if you're wondering if the sealer like, yellows or does anything over the years, uh, then as I say, this is like two years old now. And you can see that sparkle is still lovely. Okay. Then this is possibly last year's. This is... Uh, Little gonk gnome in an Easter egg with bunny ears on his hat. So, yeah, that's another one to go out. I got quite a few of these last year, actually. Uh, and these are all the little stands. So, that's a little bit smaller one. Uh, he's got his little uh, flowers there. I've got to put the lights on today because it's raining outside and it's really, really dull and not very nice. So, yeah, he's uh, very sparkly still. And then this one, I think a lot of people got this one. He's gorgeous. All uh, sparkly with his carrot there. He's so proud of that big carrot, isn't he? And he's even got little bunny feet look as well. So he's completely dressed up as a bunny, this one. Oh, it's really, really pretty. If you do want to know where any of these came from, um, if you do, let me know and I'll uh, find the links for you and which company they came from. And then that one just always makes me laugh. 
that's uh, obviously Bunny's buried his carrot right at the bottom of a f uh, flower pot. So he's dived in and uh, he's just got his little feet hanging over the edge with his little fluffy tail showing. So, yeah, but oh, these are just so sparkly. Can't wait to get them out again. I can't believe it's a year since I put them away. Goodness me, time flies. Oh, that's just a little bow that uh, <laughs> when Millie goes for a hair cutting, she always comes back gift wrapped. So that was on her collar. So I've just kept that one in with my Easter things. And then, oh, this one. This is one of my favourites. This gorgeous little Easter sign that will definitely be hung up. With some bunnies and lots of rabbits and eggs and a little chick waving in the middle. But yeah, I love the colours on that one. It's really pretty, really good. Yeah, that's a definite makes you smile one. Okay, and then we've got Blue Bunny. It kind of grew on me. I mean, I love the picture. I think uh, with the Easter eggs, the little bunny sat painting the eggs, sat on top of them all. It's great. But it was just the blue was a bit strange. But I have kind of got used to it now. It reminds me a bit uh, years ago when you used to buy babies' cots. They used to have like decals on the either end. And they were always a little bit cartoony, strange colours. And it just reminds me of one of those. But I did nearly change the colours out on it. But then I just decided, no, he's a blue bunny. It can stay a blue bunny. Maybe he's a bit cold. Easter can be a bit cold sometimes. <laughs> okay, now these are the 3D kits. Uh, I'll get that one out in a second. This one is Peter Rabbit. So this is a 3D like diorama, as it were. Thank you to the lady that said to me, it's a diorama. I knew it had a name. I just couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> So, yeah, um, this is a Craft Buddy Crystal Art. I know this one because they have the license for Peter Rabbit for doing these. Oh, doing this one handed maybe wasn't the best way of doing it. Right, and I think, does it go? Yeah, it goes that way. So, we've got, see if I can do this. We've got uh, the flowers in the background there. And then we've got, I think they went, did they go there? You know, I can't remember which way around this goes now. Does it matter, Liz? Does it matter? No, not really. Um, and then I think that's in the middle. Oh, no, I think those flowers go at the back there. Sorry, I'm not filming this very well, am I? I'm trying to see what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, did the basket go? No, I think, did the basket go there? No, the basket, 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 basket. Does it go there? I think that goes there. I think Jemima went at the back. Yeah, it's nice to see something Jemima puddle duck. We don't get hair quite so often. And then Peter has a pride of place at the front. So let's just pop him in there. Okay, so that's your little diorama, your little picture. All 3D picture, Peter Rabbit. So, yep, that will go back on the mantelpiece. The only thing that I find difficult with this is that it's quite um, a wide base here. So, it's a little bit restricting as to where you can put it with it having that uh, width there. So, But, yeah, it's still very, very cute and it will definitely be going out. And this is a chicken one, which is practically the same. Let me just put it together and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like. That's better, Liz. Why not put them on top of the box rather than trying to struggle with them in the box? Do you know, as I've always said, if there's an easy way to do things and a hard way to do things, I will always find the hard way. <laughs> so, yeah, this is one of the first sort of 3D scenes that uh, Craft Buddy did. This is a couple of years old. And... It was really, really difficult to do because the numbers and letters were actually on the bottom of the uh, acrylic. So as you were looking at it, as I've said before, um, you're actually looking through the th thick acrylic, which this is quite probably about five, six millimetres thick. Uh, and that did make it difficult to do because every time you moved, then the perspective changed. You really needed to do it so that you were looking straight down on it, which I didn't realise at first. So, yeah, this was uh, a little bit more tricky to do, uh, but it's very, very effective, and I do like it. I can't remember which way around it goes, so let's just see if we can find these little slots to put these in. Did that maybe go at the front? 
I'm just going to lean them up for now because I can't remember which way round it goes. But we've got Mummy Hen. Does she go there? Possibly. Maybe Mummy Hen goes there. And then we've got some eggs. It's all done in crystals as well, this one. Very, very pretty. As I say, Craft Buddy seem to have moved away from doing things in all crystals now, which is a shame um, because it is called Craft Buddy Crystal Art. <laughs> And then we have the two little chicks, which the uh, gems on these are gorgeous. Look how shiny that is. Again, this one has been sealed for over two years. So you can see that sealing does not dull sparkle. But this is using the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Sealer as well. But yeah, so we've got our two little chicks as well there. So that's our two little scenes that you can actually see now because they're on top of a box. I don't know why I was doing it or not on a box. <laughs> And then my lovely wreaths, which are one of my favourite things to do, if not the favourite thing to do. Let me just move those out of the way. So we've got Peter Rabbit. This is, again, a craft buddy one. It's a wooden one. And I absolutely, oh, it's just so gorgeous. But I did change out this as well. Um, I did add some ABs into their look. Um, I think there was possibly, I don't know whether the blue ones were in, but I did the little ducklings in AB. I added some ABs into the flower. That's Aurora Borealis. It's like an iridescent coating, like oil on water, northern lights effect, given to um, the gems, just put over the top of the gems. And I think I did Peter Rabbit's buttons, slightly different colour. And then I did his little fluffy tail in a white AB because I felt as though, again... With it being Easter, this just needed a little bit more sparkle. And yes, this one has been sealed as well. And as you can see, look at the sparkle on that. It's not dulled it down at all. So yeah, I did add to that one. Um, they are in my Craft Buddy playlists if you do want to have a look. And then this one is one of the first ones again that they brought out in the wreaths and this is the bunny but i decided to make my bunny white well i think it's more of a hair actually isn't it because it's got really long ears um but i wanted it white rather than the brown i wanted a bit more color and again look at all the uh, special drills and crystals in that one i wish they still did so many of them i love those flowers look with that ab coated around there and then this one, yeah, is where I've put green around the edges. When I was talking about uh, colouring in edges of um, wooden projects, then I've used a green pro marker, a green alcohol marker, and gone all the way around the edge of that, and then all the inside edge as well, uh, because I don't like seeing the wood, and particularly when it's on the inside. You know, when it's hung on the wall, you can actually see that inside. So I've done all sides with that. I don't know if I did this one or not. I think, yes, I did. Yeah, I did. I went round actually with a very pale green on this one. Um, yeah, you can just sort of see. It just takes away the starkness of that MDF, of that wood. Okay, so that's two to go up. And then this one is probably from AliExpress. And it's like a very firm rubber, foam rubber. So it's like got, um, like, I don't know, I suppose it'd be like polystyrene or a very compressed polystyrene. So it is quite hard, um, but it's not like your wood or your acrylic. So, yeah, that was a really good one to do. They don't seem to do those anymore. Maybe they were more expensive to produce. But again, it's a little bunny and it's all in pink and very sparkly. And look at the hot pink bow at the top. Yeah, we like our hot pink. And then this is gorgeous. This just makes me smile. Look at that one. He's hanging out of an egg. He's just saying, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> again, lots of hot pink. Very, very sparkly. All of these again, and I'll keep saying it, have been sealed. Uh, so, yeah, using the Craft Buddy Crystal Art Sealer. So, look at those. Oh, but he is absolutely... Look at that little face. Does he look fed up or does he look fed up? That's like his mum's just said to him, go sit in that Easter egg and I'll take a picture of you. And he's like, oh, yes, mum. <laughs> so, he's like a wreath, but a solid wreath. So, he's like a round. And that one is in the... Um, like foamy material as well so these are great because they don't uh, crack uh, if they drop or whatever they don't crack so great but yeah a nice and a bit lighter as well 
so that's all the ones that i've got well so far i think i've got some uh, canvases as well that i need to dig out so let's go and have a look for the canvases and see where they all are my diamond art so let's have a look through the storage books and see what we've got um i've just pulled out a few different uh, bunny ones that i've had in my uh, folders as well so yeah i think this one came last year oh look at that it's a bunny butt and he's diving into a wreath he obviously thinks there's a carrot at the other side so yeah i remember getting that one last year and it still makes me laugh so that one will definitely be going up and then this is sort of a, well, a very different bunny. He's made up of all different flowers. So I've sort of pulled out bunnies um, and then I'll have a look and see what I've got Easter wise as well. And then I've also got this year's to go on top. But uh, some of them I've not got done yet. Some of them I've got done and you've not seen yet. So, yeah, we'll carry on with this so far. But look at his little tail. It's all pink and white pearls, all with an iridescent coating on, just to make up that big fluffy tail at the back. It's nearly as big as his head, look. He's definitely got a very big fluffy tail. And then this is my patchwork bunny. And yeah, he's so cute. As I say, if you're wanting to know where these came from, um, just pop it in the comments down below if there's one specific one that you like um, or you want in details on, and I'll uh, try and dig it out for you. Look at that one. He looks so serious. I wish in hindsight I'd just put some extra little gems on just to make his mouth um, turn up at the corners. But yeah, this bunny looks like Millie when I put something on her. So he's got this uh, lovely little like, headband on with all these gorgeous hot pink flowers and leaves. And he's saying, oh, for goodness sake, what have you done this to me for? But he's a very cute bunny. He's a pink and white bunny. Oh, gorgeous. Tell you I love bunnies. And then this one, I think this was one of my first buys from Fan Cells, would you believe? So this will be three years old. I don't think it's been done three years. I think it might have only been done two. Uh, but yeah, look, it's gorgeous. It's a spring bunny. Yay! So let's have a look through my folders and see what we've got in these and see if there's any more Easter or bunny themed ones. Uh, so yeah you're getting a look at all my completions well not all my completions but these are my special drill completions uh, this folder actually came from Timu and I'm putting my special drills in it because it has a wider, wider gusset there so you can actually fit more in because obviously um, special drills sometimes they're really really big thick ones and they don't fit very well in other folders uh, you know if you get the sort of like well, the, the poster type folders, the A, standard A3 folders, sometimes they're not very thick and they're okay for your standard gem paintings, but they're not brilliant for your uh, special drills. So, oh yeah, I love this one, look. We've got budgies and we've got the butterfly and then we've got the cat. We've got a little guinea pig down here as well, look. It's the uh, first time I'd seen a guinea pig on a painting. I have actually got a guinea pig uh, full drill canvas to do now. But yeah, I just thought he was so sweet. So I got that one. And then we had our elephant for Big Butts, which is Pencil Surprises um, event that she does in a January. So yeah. And another heliflump. This was one of the first specials that I got as well. Um can't quite remember where I got those from but I know I did get a few I got a budgerigar one and an elephant one and I can't remember what the others were I'll probably come across them in here uh, that's my butterfly picture we're not coming across much Easter at the moment more butterflies oh sunflowers gorgeous might get that one out for autumn and oh yeah that's my owl and I did actually do a video on this because if you sort of look there, these the owl claws are gold and then the um, the branch that is sat on is a little bit of a brownie colour and I actually used alcohol markers to colour the gems in. So if the colour of your gem isn't quite what you want, you can use your alcohol marker pens to colour over the gem and get a different colour. So rather than it being gold, the same as all the feathers and everything on the owl, it's now brown. So yeah, that was another, that's in my tips and tricks as well, I think that I did, uh, using pro markers on gems. Oh, he's wonderful. Look at all that sparkle. Oh, it looks like I've been through at some point and put all my owls together. <laughs> oh, that's fed up owl. Yeah. <laughs> Saying, oh my goodness me. Oh, what's happened to his eyes? Oh, is that on the uh, 
canvas. Oh, what have I done? Oh, it's fluff. Oh, I thought I'd got pen on it then. I've got fluff on my owl. Oh, what have I done there? You see, this is why if you don't seal things, you can end up with fluff wearing it. Well, it looks like Millie, to be fair. But Mucky Pupple is putting one away that's, um, yeah, got fluff on it. Unless the fluff's been in the page, possibly. Uh, yeah, so let me just pop that one back in there. Okay. Oh, and this was a mystery painting. Um, I think this was a free gift one. You know, if you put so much order and you get a free gift. And uh, yeah, that was the free gift that arrived. So we kept that one away from Millie. But it's a very nice painting. Very pretty. Oh, and that one, yeah, I did actually get that one because uh, just shows when I say I haven't got many, I haven't got any cat paintings, I've got a lot when I start putting them all together and looking at them. But I just loved the black and white effect of that. It reminds me of Zentangle. Um, you know, the craft where you actually make a, um, a shape and then you start breaking that shape down into other shapes and then you break it down into another shape and start making patterns so it reminded me a little bit of that so yeah i just love the big green eyes on that one as well oh we're on to gnomes now so that one's sort of an autumn gnome isn't it because he's sunflowers Um, he's a bee gnome and he's sunflowers as well. Oh, it was the monkey I got. I did the monkey. I actually made that one into a birthday card for hubby. Um, but I've now taken it off the birthday card and put it in the folder. But yeah, that was uh, a hubby's birthday card probably three years ago as well. Oh, and then there's my little love bird. Look at that. Love that one with all the hot pink. <laughs> oh, I could just sit and look through these all day. Oh, yeah, that's the other one that I got. So I got the monkey, the elephant the llama and whatever the other one was that I got as well. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty to do. Uh, oh, that was my crown for the Queen's Jubilee. Oh, was it the crown? No, yeah, it was for the Queen's Jubilee. Um, and then I think I put it up for when Charles got uh, his crown, when he got crown, when the coronation was on as well. So that's that one. Oh, that's my unicorn. Okay, and it's set globe. That's my guitar. I think these were all smashing the specials ones. Oh, that was my uh, grasshopper. Now, I got that one because I thought it's something I've not seen before. Um, there was quite a few bugs in that series, but uh, I just like the grasshopper. Oh, that was another one I did for Big Bups as well. I thought she looked like an awful lot of fun. Uh, yeah, she's uh, yeah, emptied a bottle out, look. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's my flip-flops. That's summer. Um, that one goes out on my summer display rather than spring. Uh, oh, that's a clock. Uh, yeah, sadly, it fell off the wall and the clock mechanism did break. I did have it actually um, pulled and stretched onto a canvas and made into a clock. I think I've got a video on that one as well. Uh, but unfortunately, the clock bit did break. So at the moment, I've put something else up in its place. So that's in there, ready to have a new clock mechanism on and be put into a frame again. That's my little panda. He was cute. Oh, back to butterflies again. We've got a bee. That's sort of summer themed, isn't it? So that's those. So there's no Eastery ones in there. So you're all shouting, why did you show us that then, Liz, if there's no Easter in it? <laughs> and the reply is, because I didn't know there was no Easter in it. <laughs> right, this is um, a sideways on folder. So I got these. These were a little bit more expensive. These are like the standard um sort of gusseted ones so these are what uh, you normally get and i am putting special drills in this one and i've got one for full drills and it's just basically for the canvases that go the other way and i've started putting my 30 by 30s in them as well so that they don't fall out or look lost in the big canvas so i'll just have to do this a little bit on the side because when it's open it's sort of like going onto a pile of stuff and i don't want them to fall off so disney castle Ah, right, that's definitely spring. That's my spring gnomes with all the flowers. I love that one at the front. Look, he's got a little plant pot with one little flower in with a hot pink heart. And he just looks so proud. <laughs> so we want that one out. And then, oh, we're back to more butterflies. And, oh, that, no, I think that one's more sort of, um, don't let me pull this across because you didn't see that butterfly, did you? There you are, butterflies. Uh, yeah, that one I think is more... Oh, is it spring though? It might be spring. 
I may use that one if I've not got enough bunnies and things. Um, then owls. And oh, that's definitely winter. That's all the winter birds collecting the berries and the autumnal colours. Uh, kingfishers. Turtles and kingfishers. No, they're hummingbirds, aren't they? Are they? Do you know I'm losing my birds? No, they're hummingbirds. Is they're hummingbirds? That's a kingfisher. <laughs> That's uh, London with Tower Bridge and Big Ben. And that's New York. And then, oh, why is that one in there? That should be in full drill. <laughs> that's a, a full drill canvas one as well. So, oh, well, we only managed to pull one out of there then. So anyway, we've got plenty of bunnies to put up. So it's going to be a bunny fest, I think, this Easter. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed looking through uh, these uh, paintings with me and seeing all my things that I've got from last year. So they will all be going up. We'll do I'll do a video of everything once it's all out and Easter is all up and running. So yeah, it's only what were the first day. So we're only about three or four weeks away. Well, Easter's four weeks away. Um, but I really don't want to be putting up on an Easter weekend. So. so I think probably next week I shall start putting all these up so I can have them up for a couple of weeks and then I tend to leave them out um, from the bank holiday Monday, Easter Monday um, through there and then I'll just have uh, some spring themed up and then once spring's over we'll go into summer. And so it goes on. Yay, diamond paintings for every occasion. <laughs> Oh, I just love that bunny butt. It's just brilliant. Love it. Love it. Goes with that little uh, bunny that's jumping into the plant pot, doesn't it? Really cute. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and uh, see these all put out and they're displayed around the house, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.